Hello everybody, this is Boaz Faller, Evolutionary Astrologer, and I'm here with the weekly astrological message for the week between the 18th and the 25th of February 2017. As we approach the end of February 2017, we can feel two very different energies playing in our life that are in dissonance with each other. One pole is this very dreamy, out of space and time, very creative, very spiritual energy of Pisces coming in. The sun has just uh, uh, moved into Pisces today. Happy birthday, all you Pisceans. And Mercury is going to move into Pisces on the 25th of February. The planet of intelligence, the planet of navigation, the planet of logic moving into Pisces as well. So what happens basically is that we all become a little disassociated with space and time more of an astronaut feeling, a bit more passive and dreamy, and much more spiritual and connected to the arts and creativity in general. This would be an amazing time to start a creative project that needs some conversation with the muses. Any poetry or literature or art is very much um, heightened at this time. So that's that's one pole and we need to make sure that we don't escape into our dream world and become overly passive. The other pole is the square between Mars and Pluto happening in the sky that we could feel very intensely in the next few days. Mars, the planet of action in charge of all our lower chakras and the male masculine sides within each and every one of us our initiative and our defense and our anger and our lust and Pluto, which is also connected to our lower carnal energies, but in a much more transformative way, by picking up from deep beneath the surface everything that needs to rise up, sometimes volcanically, bringing it up to the surface and dealing with it and being empowered by it, hopefully, and not traumatized by it. And we have the uh, conjunction of Mars to Uranus coming up. So as they move together, with this square, there's this energy that really compels us to move forward, compels us to take action. We want it and we want it now. And we're much less patient with other people and we have a much shorter fuse. So take these two energies, how do we work with them together? Well, first of all, we harness all that creativity and put it into affirmative action on the ground. We really have to be careful not to lash out on people and not to get angry over nothing, not to get into arguments that aren't worth our time. Don't get, get caught up in the drama in the next couple of days. Especially, two days I want to mention, on the 20th in Europe, from the afternoon onwards, in, in the United States from the morning time onwards, on the 20th, the moon conjunct Saturn. Usually this is a time that we could be too reserved, too cold, too responsible or too rigid for our own good. So put in some warmth and love into your communication with your surroundings on the 20th. On the 22nd, the 23rd and the 24th. On the 22nd, again, morning time in the United States, afternoon onwards in Europe. The moon is conjunct Pluto, squaring that Mars, fueling that square. So we really have to be careful not to get into unnecessary fights or arguments and not let our temper get the best of us. The same with the 23rd and the 24th. As I said, on the 25th, Mercury is moving into dreamy Pisces as well, and that could lower the energies a little bit if we're working good with that. But on the 26th, even though it's Sunday next week, we have an eclipse of the sun on eight degrees or nine degrees of Pisces. It's going to be a ring of fire in which the moon is uh, totally within uh, the sphere of the sun and there's a ring of fire just around it. And what does this eclipse mean? Well, any eclipse is a time of great changes, two weeks before, two weeks after. And it's a time that things could change in such a massive way that is not connected to space and time. It's not connected to the time that actually lapsed. Great major changes in our life could happen during this time. What are the themes of Pisces? Again, spirituality, artistic, and, and, and dreamy energy. So in that 
very feminine place within us, we could have an awakening or we could have something change. We can have a transmutation. But more of the themes of Pisces are forgiveness. And not only forgiveness, sometimes even uh, self-sacrifice and the feeling of martyrdom. So we have to be careful not to erase ourselves or sacrifice ourselves for the better good or for someone else in our life and just watch how we put ourselves on our priority list high enough. And another thing that Pisces is connected to is the surrendering. The surrendering to the fact that life isn't according to our own plans, to our own demise, to our own wishes and wants. Life is something that we cannot always control, that we cannot always understand. And the Piscean energy coming in at this time could present us with situations in our life that we need to confirm, that we need to surrender to. And it's about taking part in that great oceanic current and swimming along, making our own part and not becoming overly passive or uh, feeling like we sacrificed too much and not becoming martyrs, but becoming creative, becoming spiritual and accepting, accepting life for what it is, even if it's not what we were promised in the brochure, <laughs> so to speak. So that's about it for this week. I want to thank you for listening and of course for private consultations, private lessons or courses in evolutionary astrology. You're more than welcome to contact me. This is Boaz Feiler, Evolutionary Astrologer, signing out. Thank you for listening. Bye-bye.